All right, our action graph is ready. Let's close this down, down, down. And I would like to name my action graph as Let me zoom a little so you can see. Ancient graph AG. And this is the Ackerman, right? So I will write Ackerman. One great thing about the Isaac Sim is that you can see, save almost everything as USD files. This includes the action graphs. So if you right click on the action graph and save selected. So I already had one here, so let me save over it. And when I go back to the content, and I would I would like to delete this one so you can see that how it's working. I'm going to just delete this one, okay? So there is no action graph left under the but I will just drag and drop this into my car back again. And you will see that it will come as it is. Only it will add an X form just to be sure uh, to be able to, you know, just place it under the car so it will add an X form. But you can see the, the graph is here. If I just open the graph. So this is very nice because this saves you a lot of time that you don't have to create the same uh, action graphs for different robots, okay? So you can just save one and use it as a base for the others, just like the, like the, when we are doing the, like the C++ coding, you can just copy and paste and just rewrite everything. And, or you don't even have to write anything. You have to just change basic stuff. Uh, so I will show you what you have to change. First thing is that the, uh, the articulation controller is expecting a target print. Uh, let me zoom in a little. Here we go. On the right side, you will see when you click on the, the uh, articulation controller node, you will see it's looking for a target prim. Target prim is where the See, is where the uh, well, the articulation root is placed. Okay, so the articulation root is how the uh, these relations between the joints and stuff is being calculated. So this is the uh, when you import the URDF, it is placed under the at most top of it. So since the URDF begins with the base footprint, it just placed it under it. So it explains in the, the forums that it's trying to make the shortest uh, tree as much as possible and, and it should be at the top. So, but you can change its place. So you can just basically delete this one and uh, move it to maybe here. Some robots has in the, the very top default print. Uh, but here is under the base footprint. Since nothing is uh, about the base footprint, it won't be a problem. But if you move to the lower uh, branches, I can say, then it may cause problems. So better leave it there today. But just remember, we need its place only, so no problem. And if we go back to the articulation controller and select the target frame as base footprint, it's okay. Same for the second one. And let me check if anybody else is asking. And yes, as you can see, the compute odometry needs the chase stream also. So it's also looking for the base footprint. And our action graph is now ready. But since we made the changes here, the one here won't change. So it, it can be a big problem when you like to just, you know, uh, if you are using with the other robots, so the base doesn't change. So you just change the copy. And since you just change the copy, it won't affect the other robots. So 
it's a way of working so either you can just open this uh, or I don't want to go out or you can just change and save it one more time so save selected the same name and let me just to be sure if it's worked yep it's the base footprint base footprint and base footprint is here uh, but you have to be careful when you just copy this out and you move it to another robots or another scene it will lose the relation with the base footprint or the articulation roots because there there are no articulation roots when you save them as a standalone right so they will lose that relation so every time you copy into a new scene and you want to just relate it with a new robot you have to go and recheck that the target prints are looking for the that base footprint or where it is uh, located before we start driving around i realized i forgot to change one important thing which is the this uh ackerman node so let me zoom in Okay, in the Ackerman node, you see that we have to provide maximum wheel rotation, maximum wheel velocity, track width, turning wheel radius, and wheel base, and unclick the use acceleration to be able to uh, let the this node calculate the controls properly. Okay, so the should the ending should be like this, and let me put it in so 0 0.75 radians so maximum wheel rotation is the angle of the front wheels that steering angle uh, but we will limit also from the joints so don't worry we can either use this or from the joints it's uh, mutually working and maximum wheel velocity is radian per second so you remember we calculated this as 20 point 26.5 so i will make it 27 speed and steering angle will come from rows track width is with the distance between the left and right tire so it's 22 centimeters and one tire is five centimeter and the wheel base which is the distance between the, the front and the rear axis axle so uh, let me just conclude this and in the also the articulation controller uh, node i realized that i forgot to uh, untick the use pad if you use pads and then the target print won't work let's don't forget to choose the target prints and so this one and also the compute velocity is looking for the base footprint let's save this all and in the next video i will just start uh, driving around and see you in the next video